Hello today, um, ignore my face because you're gonna have to deal with the fact that people aren't always pretty. I'm talking to you from a grocery store parking lot. I don't know if you can see anything, fuck it, I don't fucking care anymore, you're gonna just see whatever. Um, I had to take my crabs to the store today because they had an incident where they got like out of their shells and stuff and so you can see them moving around in there a little, I think, hopefully. One of them fell out of his shell, the other crab climbed out of his own shell and gave it to the little one, so the big one got in the little one's shell, and the big one needs a bigger shell. And then the other big one, the bigger, bigger one, is just kind of like, fuck all this shit, I'm just gonna be fine, he's fine. She, she, sorry, she's fine. I've been out here for like half an hour waiting for my mom to come out of the store. It is almost 100 degrees out here, and I feel like I'm gonna puke because I don't like heat, but that's just life. You have to live with it sometimes. Um, I'm talking with my friend, I'm trying to figure out what nickname to call her, because I keep wanting to call her Livy or Ollie, but I think I'm just going to call her Cinny from now on, like I always already do, and necklace. she lives in London, and we're talking about how I'm going to go see and, see and meet Rise Against in September. Yay! Um... I plan to have a lot of crying and fangirling. I'm not one to fangirl when I meet bands I like. I'm usually just like, hey, sub dude, you wanna smoke? Hey, let's smoke, let's fucking chill. That's what I do. But when I meet Rise Against, I know I'm going to hug Tim really hard and then start crying as I explain to him just how powerful their music is and what it means to me. Because they're one of my favorite bands and that's just what I do. I also have plans when I meet All Time Low, which I will do before I die. I'm going to have to be pried off of Jack Barracat with a fucking crowbar. And when I meet uh, Taking Back Sunday, same thing with Adam Lazara. Lazara? I'm not sure how to pronounce his name. I'm just going to call him Lazara. Like he's firing a Lazara. Okay. <laughs> I'm stupid. And when I meet Mayday Parade, Derek Sanders is going to have a crying fangirl. Because my friend Petey that died... Their song, Miserable at Best, is the one I remember him with. Because everyone has a song they dedicate to something in their past, and that's the one that I dedicate to something in my past. And it means a lot to me. And it's, it's sad, really, because I'm friends with quite a few bands, and I know a lot of musicians, and so it's nothing really to me when I meet a band. I'm just like, hey, yeah, you're just some famous guy. I'm not going to give you a swelled head by pretending that you're better than me. When, I mean... They kind of are above me in the sense that they can deliver power and emotion to somebody the way they do, but in the sense of, like, humanity, I just treat them like they're normal people and they treat me like I'm like them. And if you treat them like they're better than you, they're going to act like they're better than you is my experience. So I don't give them the power. She, my daughter? In the, in the room, That's my mom back there. She doesn't realize I'm doing a vlog, does she? She bought a lot of stuff, and the guy's helping her get stuff into the car. So I'm gonna get off the phone, or off the uh, vlog thing before, before this turns out really bad. Actually, maybe I'll have her introduce herself. Couldn't hurt, could it? Let's go creep mode. Hi, Mom, say hi to the people. Okay. I told you I don't wanna be on there. <laughs> That's okay. Not funny. Well, um, that's all I have to say right now. Tootie loo, whatever.